One of the vital steps when transferring over to a new platform is importing and exporting your existing data. So today I'm going to go over how you import your existing customers into Shopify. So one of the things that you're going to need to do when you're transferring over to Shopify is you're going to need to import all of your customers. So the way that Shopify handles this is you can either do it through the API or you can do it through a CSV, a comma separated value Excel sheet. I'm going to go over the comma separated Excel sheet right now uh, just because this is the easiest way to do it um, and it's the most likely the way that you're going to be importing your customers. So if we go over to our dashboard and we're on our dashboard, the best thing to first do is go to customers and then at the top you'll see it come up and it'll say import and export. We want to export the customers. The reason we want to do this is because we want to go and grab an Excel spreadsheet that gives us a sample of the columns that we're going to need to fill out for when we transfer it over from another system. So we're going to select export the current page because there's only one customer in there and then we're going to get CSV for Excel, numbers or other spreadsheet programs. We're going to hit export. It's going to ask us to download it and then we can go and open it up in our editor. So I'm going to open this up in Excel. Now once we've opened it up in Excel, we can now go and look at the columns that are in there. I'm going to add in some sample data so that when we import it, we can see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is, we're going to, under first name, we're going to go John Smith. We're going to put an email of John at smith.com. The company is Smith Incorporated. Uh, we're going to go 1234 Smith Street in Smithers. British Columbia, province is BC, Canada, country code CA. So if you're doing stuff for the US, it'd be US. Um, all, you can look up two digit country codes so you know which ones need to go in there. The correct um, zip code, I'm just gonna use a sample zip code here. And we're gonna use a phone number. So, uh, and just do, does this person accept marketing? I'm going to say yes. The total spend, the total orders, if they have any tags, any notes, and if they're tax exempt. Then we can hit save. It's going to ask us if we would like to save it as the current CSV. Some features may be lost because Excel contains information like formatting um, and column widths and stuff like that, where CSVs don't contain those information. It's important to understand the difference between saving in an Excel file and saving in a CSV. For the point of this uh, upload, it needs to be in a CSV. An XLS file won't work. So we're going to hit save. It's now saved it. We know it's customer export in parentheses one and now we can go back over to our customers and we can go import customers we can choose our file we can hit overwrite existing customers if they have the same email or phone number which we're going to do and then we're going to hit import It'll go through its thing and import, and then when we refresh the page, we should have John Smith in there. John Smith, there we go. Um, the reason it's overwritten the other item is because I selected the same phone number. So let's go and change that so that we have two phone numbers in here, so that they have different phone numbers. So we're going to go and make this 188 300 Okay. Now we're going to save that one there, yes save, and we're going to go import the customers again. There we go, hit import. Okay, customer imported. Now what we should do is we should have two customers in there, one John Smith and one Jody Edgar. And that's how you go ahead and import your customers. Now it's important to understand that all of your orders, when you get to importing orders, are they going to look up the customer name by their email address. So when you import your customers, make sure that you import their email address. It's a required field, so you will need to have it while you import your uh, customers into the Shopify dashboard. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button if that's something you're into, and we'll see you guys in the next one.